Hey guys, Krisha and Kinect here. Um, first of all, I hope it's not too dark in here um, for you guys to see. Um, it's pretty cloudy outside, and again, there's something wrong with the this light fixture. I don't know what it is. It's not the light bulbs, because we've changed the light bulbs various times, and it's always been really dull in here. I think there's a problem um, with the fixture not outputting enough electricity to the light bulbs. Um, I don't know, it's just really dull. I don't know what is wrong with it. But anyways... Um, so I'm coming to you today with a bit of a haul. Um, I don't have any finished crochet items. I didn't do any crochet last week because last week was just the week from hell, frankly. Um, first of all, you might remember um, many videos ago I mentioned um, that we had our apartment sprayed for ants. And um, last week we found um, that ants are coming back in again, which I am not surprised because spraying does nothing for ants um, as soon as the spray wears off they're just going to come back in spraying does not get rid of a colony of ants it just maybe kills the few ants that have made their way in and just repels them for a while until the spray wears off and then they come back in that's just how it is with ants if you want to get rid of them you need to to pay good money and find a good exterminator who knows what they're doing spraying is not the answer and obviously the management of this building is not interested in paying good money for anything because uh, this building is just it's really old it's like 45 years old or something and they just they don't like there's nothing wrong with an old building as long as it's properly maintained but the building management here just don't seem interested in putting the money into maintaining this place because there's always things going wrong and it seems like they're always spending a lot of time and money on aesthetic things like um, landscaping and painting doors and walls that don't need to be painted and then when things go wrong they just find the cheap temporary solutions it seems like um, so anyways we have ants coming back in that we're dealing with um, and then we found that our cats have fleas which I have no idea how that happened because we live on the top floor of an apartment building and our cats never go outside. They couldn't if they wanted to. There's no way for them to go outside from here. We have never had anybody bring any other animals into this apartment. So I have no idea where they came from. They, Which makes me think that there are fleas elsewhere in this building. Um, which is freaking me out. Um, so I have been working non-stop to clean and launder and vacuum and flea comb the cats and just trying to everything to get rid of these fleas and it's been driving me nuts and I've been afraid to like take my yarn out and do any work on them because I'm afraid of like flea eggs getting in my yarn I don't know I know that's probably not very likely but I'm still paranoid about the possibility so I haven't been touching my yarn lately um so we've been dealing with that and then last Wednesday we had a huge downpour of rain like it was like the most rain we have ever had here and like a lot of places around the city were flooded and we had a leak in this room in the ceiling over the bookshelves and then an hour after that leak started we had a leak here above the computer desk it was just, we had like buckets everywhere and the managers couldn't do anything obviously because it was raining they couldn't go up on the roof and do anything so they said um, but then they got some roof repairs to come out the next day. I hope they finally fixed the problem. We haven't had m much rain since then, so we haven't been able to see if it's actually been fixed. But I hope it's been fixed. <laughs> um, so just tons of things going wrong with this apartment. And so needless to say, we are actively looking for a new place to live right now. Um, I am so over apartment living, so we're now kind of looking for a house. We obviously can't afford a down payment for a house right now, but if we can, like the rent here is not exactly cheap, and there are houses around here that have similar rent to this place, so if we can get a house for like similar to what we're paying here, then I would prefer that. So that's what we're looking for right now. Hopefully we will be out by the end of the year. That's what I'm hoping. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but <sighs> so that's been my life thus far. Um, so amidst all the craziness last week, there were just a couple of days when I just had to get out of here. I just, I couldn't sit in this mess anymore. So I had to get out. And so I went out to a couple of stores and bought yarn, obviously. Um, so the first bag of yarn I bought is just a couple of skeins of this, um, Bernat Premium Knitting Worsted. Um, and the color is... What was it called again? Butter Yellow. Um, so I bought two skeins of this because, as I mentioned before, I am planning to make um, 
a couple of minion amigurumis for a couple of friends for Christmas. Um, this isn't exactly the kind of yellow I had in mind. I was hoping for a kind of like a brighter, bolder yellow. Um, so this is just like a few shades paler than what I had in mind, but it's better than nothing. And I've been having a lot of trouble finding a regular yellow yarn. So um, this, considering all the trouble I've been having, this is actually a good, <laughs> a pretty decent shade. So I'm satisfied with this. So I got two of these. And um, I had actually seen this before at Walmart, um, but they only had like maybe four colors and like they had like they barely had any colors. So um, and I had never seen it anywhere else. So I looked it up on the Burnett website and it was not there. I couldn't find it. And so I just did some Googling and I found like a message board somewhere where someone said that this is a Walmart exclusive yarn. Um, but then I found this at a local craft store. Um, there's actually, I've mentioned it before, a train chain of craft stores here in Southern Ontario. Um, there's 10 of them in various cities um, called Lens Mill stores and they have like a giant section of yarn and they actually had a whole shelf of this Bernat Premium um, and they had yellow, so, um, which the Walmart did not have. Um, I was hoping they had a bit of a brighter yellow because in the Lens Mill flyer they had, because these were actually on sale, um, the regular price at Lens Mills was $4.99 and they had it on sale for $3.99. Um, and so I saw the sale in the flyer and they had a couple of different colors in the picture there on the flyer and the yellow was actually quite a bright yellow, but this is not anywhere near that yellow in the picture, but it's still a decent yellow, so I think that'll do just fine. Um, so yeah, it was on sale for $3.99, so I got two skeins of those, and they are pretty big skeins. Um, how big are you? They're seven ounce skeins. So that's a pretty good deal for $3.99, it's not too bad. And then I went to Walmart, and I got, um, the Minion Pants Blue, for the Minion Pants. Um, this is just a regular skein of Red Heart Super Saver. Um, and the color is just blue, and so it's kind of a brightish blue. Um, and yeah, it's a seven ounce skein, and so I'm going to use that for the minion pants. And also, if I have enough of these yarns left over, I might make some uh, minion hats and maybe minion fingerless gloves for my nieces for Christmas, because I know my one niece wants minion things. She's obsessed with the minions. I don't know about the other one, but I'm pretty sure she would like them too. Um, so if I have enough yarn left over, I'm gonna make some minion things for them. And then I got a skein of Red Heart Super Saver in Carrot um, because I'm going to use this to make uh, an Amigurumi Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. I found a free pattern for him. Um, it's just, it's for the, um, the version of him when he's a plush animal, not when he's like alive and playing with Calvin. Um, it's the plush version of him. And so I'm going to make that for a good friend of mine who's obsessed with Calvin and Hobbs and has like no Calvin and Hobbs stuff because it's impossible to find any because I've read online that um, Bill Watterson, the uh, creator of Calvin and Hobbes, refused to license Calvin and Hobbes to like any merchandise company. So there's like no Calvin and Hobbes merchandise anywhere. Um, so I'm going to make this for my friend. Um, and it is a free pattern online. And so I'll put that down below in case anybody is interested. And because of Bill Watterson not licensing his stuff and not wanting his stuff to be licensed or sold or anything, um, the person who created this pattern asked that you not sell anything from it and keep it free um, and just use it for giving gifts and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll put that pattern down below in case anybody is interested. Um, so that is all the yarn I bought. And there is one more thing I want to show. It's not exactly a um, craft thing, but um, I found this book. Um, this is actually a sequel to another cupcake book called uh, Hello Cupcake, um, and which I found at a thrift store a few weeks ago. And then on Friday, I found the sequel, What's New Cupcake, at a local grocery store. It was just like on a clearance table, um, which I didn't even know that grocery store sold cookbooks. <laughs> but um, this was just sitting on a clearance table with a bunch of other books, and um, it was on clearance for like six ninety eight. And the regular cover price is sixteen ninety five, so um, mine. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I love to bake and I love getting ideas for like decorating cakes and pastries and things. So I love books like this. 
Um, it has a lot of really good ideas for like how to make different things out of candy and stuff. Um, and the reason I'm showing this is because, oh no, I don't remember what page it was on now. Um, there is an awesome uh, cupcake design in here um, that I'm sure all of my crafter viewers would enjoy seeing. Oh no, I can't find it now. I really should have bookmarked the page before I started this. I'm not good at preparing for videos, apparently. Oh, here it is. They are yarn ball cupcakes. I just thought it was the most awesome thing ever and I had to share it. Um, so they're just cupcakes, just um, they have uh, icing piped in various directions just to look like yarn. And then um, the knitting needles are made out of, it says wheat sticks, either um, Pringles sticks or Pocky sticks. And they're covered in white chocolate from uh, melted white chocolate chips. And um, the this skein of yarn is actually cupcakes as well. It's again just cupcakes piped with um, icing to look like yarn and then placed back to back with a homemade label. I thought that was so genius. I just had to share that. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was cute. I wanted to share. So um, I guess that's all I have to share this week. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a finished item Friday up this week. Um, I'm hoping I will. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get out of the apartment a few days this week because it's supposed to be kind of sunny. So I'm thinking of just like packing up my yarn and walking to the library or something and just doing crochet elsewhere to get out of here for a while. Um, so I'm hoping to have something done to show you by Friday. If not this Friday, then definitely next Friday. I'm hoping, I know I always say that every week, but I'm going to have stuff done. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so that's all for today. I hope everybody's having a better week than I've been having, and uh, happy crafting!